you suck at CS2. And guess what? That's completely okay. Every person ever has sucked when trying something new, and you are no exception. As Michael Jordan once said, I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times, I've been trusted to take the game-winning shot and missed. I've failed over and over and over again in my life. And that is why I succeed. In this video, we're going to break down how you can focus up and finally start improving at CS. Let's get into it. First, we're going to introduce the concept of ABC games. ABC games are a bell curve where your C games are the matches in which you play poorly relative to your skill, A is where you play above your level, and B is how you normally play. Our goal here is to slowly raise the skill at which you play at all levels, so to make the A games of today be the B or C games of tomorrow. An important thing to take note of here is to not compare your ABC games to someone else's. Everyone has a different set of circumstances that can dictate their level of play, whether that be their natural talent or hours played. We see how well other players perform, but not how much work they put in. Many of your favorite content creators have thousands and thousands of more hours playing CS than you, and comparing yourself to them will only leave you discouraged. The first step in raising our skill is to make mistakes. You can't learn how to get better without first knowing what you're bad at. After games, I like to take a moment either by myself or with my team and broadly analyze the strengths and weaknesses and come up with ways to enhance our performance in the future. It can be something as simple as, we should focus more on playing together as a team, or it can be more specific like, we kept giving up banana control early into the round, so next time we should do X, Y, and Z and see if that helps. To figure out specific issues, demo review is the best way to see how you make mistakes. When reviewing, pay attention to your crosshair as well as when and why you make the decisions you do and think about whether or not it was the correct play to make. Just because you get a kill doesn't mean it was a good play and going with that just because you died doesn't mean it was wrong either. Sometimes you can do everything right and still fail. Xbox Lasagna has a great demo review series on his channel that I recommend y'all to watch to understand how you can go about demo reviewing. Resources like Leadify also do a good job of showing areas of improvement but it is important to look into how they calculate their statistics so you can understand what you're looking at. If you're still worried about making mistakes, it is sometimes helpful to remind yourself that pro players also mess up and they are way better than we'll ever be. Now that we've identified our shortcomings in CS, how do we improve upon them? Luckily, there's thousands of hours of content on YouTube about this topic. The simple answer is to watch and play more, but we can delve a little bit deeper than that. If you find yourself struggling with the mechanics like movement or aim, AZ and pre-fire maps are going to be your best friend. Most of the engagements in CS are decided by crosshair placement and strafing, not spray control, so don't waste your time trying to perfect 6 different weapon patterns, just focus on making your fights as easy as possible. Pro player breakdowns are a great way to improve your mental side of the game. Take note of why they throw one grenade versus another in a situation, why they rotate when they do, and where they seem to focus their crosshair on. Try not to overload your brain, just take a couple of new ideas from the videos and try to replicate them a couple of times before going back and watching another. Tournament games are a more exciting way to watch pros, but if you're watching to learn instead of entertainment, try not to get too swept up in the moment. Another way to improve is by playing the different game modes. Personally, I use deathmatch when I need to get a quick warm up in, face it when I want to try hard and win, and regular competitive when I want to try something new or just stick around and have some fun. It's important to keep yourself having fun at CS and not rage queuing, as you'll never learn anything or get better that way. Something else to consider is joining a league or team. There are a ton of people looking to play competitively at all levels, you just have to look for them. I'm personally involved with one called CSC, where we have teams for people of all levels face at 1 through 10, and even though the season has started, I would recommend checking it out as there's always people in there looking to grind some pugs. Did this video help you out in any way? Let me know in the comments below. While you're down there, please also like and subscribe as I upload every Friday. Also, check out my Twitch. I stream most weekdays. Thanks.